Hey there, I heard you kids were interested in Party Island here in Crusader Kings 3 Tours and Tournaments. That's right, I conquested an entire realm, an entire country full of people here in Malta, specifically to turn it into Party Island, where we are going to have the finest, cheapest, greatest of tournaments by ripping down all of their valuable infrastructure, burn and salt their fields, rip down the towers and replace it with militia camps and barracks and all the other things we are going to need to make this place Party Island. Tournament Party Island, that is, of course, for King Biscotti of Sardinia and Corsica, the very mighty, very chivalrous man, chivalrous to a fault. I like that some people were saying in the comments that, you know, this guy just fights for the love of fighting. His intentions aren't always noble. He is impatient, he's arrogant, he's honest, so he would never cheat, he would never deceive, but his motivations aren't always pure, so to speak. If someone was being robbed in the middle of the street, he would want to fight them just so that he could fight them. Uh, the, the robbers, not the robbie. Or maybe both, depending on how skilled they were at fighting, I suppose. Anyway, um, to cut a long story short, I had to reload um, not only by like literally like two months. The autosave was in January. I closed the game in March, but it crashed on exit, so we lost like two months. In those two months, I think all that happened was a babby was born. So I got us back up to the point we left off yesterday, but this time it was Princess Papasini that was born beautiful and quick rather than uh, i think it was a son born last time it doesn't really matter a baby is a baby right it's what it's the character they become that is important not the circumstances of their birth simultaneously prince pano chocola you may remember um became rowdy yesterday this time around when i was catching us back up he became uh charming so i thought look intrigue is more interesting than diplomacy so I've thrown him into the intrigue education and print King Biscotti is going to be educating him because of course King Biscotti is an incredible educator maybe not so good for intrigue specifically I can have a look to see if there's anyone else but right now let's get rid of you uh, but but right now our guy is absolutely the best um hold on I don't want to educate a different child I want someone to educate this child here um average it's, it's average it's not everybody's average but Biscotti, who is excellent. So we're going to stick with that. It's all down to that genius trait, right? So here we are then. How are we looking in our realm? How are we looking for stability and culture and all those nice things that I very much have been ignoring? We want to continue uh, converting the remainder of Sardinia and Corsica. Now, what I was thinking, right, is how do we make enough money to be able to have the grandest of tournaments? Because the tournament we had yesterday, that grand tournament, which we suspiciously won three out of four of the events, despite the fact we had absolutely no talent whatsoever in wit, we apparently won that one. How do we buy an even grander tournament? Because that one had a lot of compromises. The prizes weren't so good. There was a couple of events we had to skip over because we just couldn't afford it. How do we get enough cash to make sure that we can do that? Because if we save up over the course of, what was it, like every eight years we can have a tournament? Grand tournament in another seven years, right? 13 gold per month, and it was like 2,800 upfront cost, not to mention all the activities between. It's so hideously expensive. I was like, okay, maybe we could, I don't know, go to our culture and uh, throw in a new cultural pillar, or a new tradition, sorry. Um, but, uh, honestly, after looking for it all, there's nothing that really took my fancy. I mean, you could argue, like, uh, and, and again, I'm thinking this from a perspective of making money. Battlefield Looters is fantastic. Getting gold from battles, it actually gives us a reason to go out there and fight our allies' wars, other than just turning up for the prestige. We lose prestige and fame from battles, or more specifically, we only get 25% of what we would have got. But is that very chivalrous, I find myself asking? That doesn't seem very honest, and it doesn't seem very, uh, you know, it doesn't seem very good for his character development. It just doesn't make sense. So I'm not going to go with that one, despite the fact that it would probably bring in a lot of cash. There wasn't really anything else that took my fancy. Uh, maybe, like, castle keepers could be quite good. Maybe, uh, honestly, one that I saw in Warfare that I thought suited this character really well, though it doesn't bring in any money, quite the opposite. Only the strong. So, uh, the Aspiring Blade Master traits get extra bonuses. Martial Education traits also gain prowess. Knights must have at least 12 prowess to be knights. Mana Arms recruitment costs are more expensive, but we get more knights, and knights are twice as effective, which is insane. We lose levy size, but who gives a shit about levy, huh? I thought that was really cool. It, it sounds really, really appropriate for this character, to the extent that I might just do it. We haven't got the cultural tradition. We can establish another one. When is that? Oh, God, we've got to wait like another 40 years. So maybe if this guy lives long enough, I could definitely throw that into the mix. But yeah, for, I, I can't really think of a way to uh, 
make money <laughs> as this guy. Um, we could just like go to war for places, but that doesn't seem good. We can make a whole new religion and allow us to uh, allow us to raid, but that seems a little. It just doesn't seem right. So, I guess we'll just let it happen as it happens, huh? I guess we'll just see what see what goes by here. To be fair, when we're done with Gallant and Strategist, we could go into Architect. You know, go for Wealth Focus or Domain Focus. Go for Architect so that we can build these tournament grounds. I think that suits him as character. Bear in mind, Stewardship is his second highest stat, and he's very, very good in Stewardship as well. So it does kind of work for the character. My daughter, Tilla Cass Carling, is at the age of starting her formal education. Queen Bagita is a good educator. Very good. What is she being trained in? Uh, stewardship. Stewardship's fine. Stewardship's absolutely fine. You're welcome. Carry on. I suppose we could sell some artifacts. I, I wanted something that was a bit more long-term, but... Um... I just don't really know... What we can do here. I just don't really know. Um... Oh, we've got that prized armor that I definitely don't want as well. Let's throw that one. Hold on. If I... What if... What, did you want to buy an artifact? You want an artifact? You will not buy my artifact. What about the Pope? The Pope might want to buy an artifact. Uh... Here. He will not buy... Oh, God. Debug, they have more gold trigger. That's crazy. Did we not befriend the Pope? He's a cowardly gentleman, but he is honest. Maybe we should do a little bit of... Wait. Corsica's at war with the Pope? What the hell are you doing? Attacking the Pope? Attacking the Pope in the Angarian claim on the grand city of Ostfriesland? The Pope has grabbed some land in the Netherlands? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> He's vassalized this lady. What? Oh, because the Pope has vassalized Beneviento? I don't understand a Benevento. I don't I don't know what's going on. It doesn't matter. The Pope does Pope things, okay? He's living his best life. I yeah, I don't really know how we can make any money on the down low here. I don't think there's a huge amount we can do. In the meanwhile, so maybe we'll just we'll just live our life. We'll just carry on. We have one new martial perk. Um, household guard, fine. We'll go all the way down to Gallant. We'll go all the way down through Strategist. And then we'll flip over maybe to Stewardship. To be fair, while we're at peace and while we're not going to be fighting in tournaments, it would make more sense to go for Stewardship. But that's all right. All right, you know what? Let's just sell some stuff. Like the prize ring we got from the tournament, we might as well sell that and get some money back. Here you go. 127 gold. Done. Take it. That's yours. What else have we got? <laughs> I don't need half this crap. We could sell Strife and Bloodlust. Gives prestige and prestige per dread. I don't think I would ever equip that over anything else we've got, so that can be sold. Here you are, my friend. 64 more gold. Very nice. Then we have, bear in mind, this, this is only something I can ever cash out on once, right? The spare prize armor? I don't want that, so that can be sold as well. Should we sell by, like, rank? Maybe they'll offer me more money. Um, oh, Queen Gambara of Bohemia. Maybe she'll buy it. 179 gold. I presume it's just a flat cost for all of these. There you go. Enjoy. And then finally, Bejeweled Scriptures. Learning per level of devotion plus one piety. Honestly, that could come in handy one day. Uh, it was just some book that we stole from Scandinavia. How much, how much will the... Oh, the Pope wants to buy it for 67. What am I going to do with the money right now? Nothing, really. I'm just saving up. The well, Malta is almost ready to have another building built there, but that's fine. That's okay. Honestly, we could use that cash instead to commission a better weapon. Oh, Pastesis learned the Norse language through observation. Very good. Um, and speaking of which, it's time for education. Yeah, I mean, look, we could we could get a better weapon for this guy, given that right now he's got that blooded blade, which gives dread and prestige. But other than that, it's not very good at all. What have you got? Count Dieter's Grand Wedding. Honestly, you're all right. We could do a bit of hunting. Maybe that's something else I could build in Molsa, to be honest. Hmm, turn it into a proper party island. Just go for, like, uh, almost everything there. Well, we'll see what we can do. We'll see how many uh, tournament buildings there are first. We've got Grand Tournament Archery Contest sorted. Grand Tournament, just generically, down by 10%. Okay. So then we've got uh, Hound Pens for the Hunt. I might leave... Because we might want to do some activities with that, right? Um, joust, horse race, and melee. If we build the stables, that's good. Blacksmith is dual. Oh, yeah, look, we can have it all. So we can throw our stables in that one. We can swap this one out for the blacksmith. And then we can also keep the hunting grounds. Ah, cool. Yeah, I like that. That seems pretty good. Another martial perk. Courtship is not amazing. 
But it does lead to loyalty and respect, which gives uh, the, the spouse council a task a 25% skill bonus, which is pretty great. I guess we'll go with that one. It must be 25% siege weapon effectiveness. Nah, you're right. Let's go with courtship then. Now, what I was thinking, right? This just occurred to me. If we can sell artifacts, we can probably just buy artifacts, right? And if we can buy artifacts... I, I mean, our guy is one of the last surviving Carlings. Could we buy Joyus? Creator, originally, Carl Carling, the most legendary sword there ever has been. Except for maybe, like, I suppose, Excalibur or something like that. I would like that a lot. Are we not a claimant? Oh, so other houses have a claim on it. There's Capet, House Robertine Abbeville, and House Robertine Boulange. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Why can't I get a claim on that? Can we just buy it? <laughs> I've, got to, I've, got, I've got to try. Okay, show me. Hello. Uh, buy artifact. Buy an artifact for gold. He will not accept. He will not accept. Because. We can't afford it. Really. <laughs> ah. If we save that money up and swipe. It's at zero. Wait. He gets paid gold 50 because he likes gold. He wants the gold. Fine. He, it's equipped by him, so that's a minus 20. It's better than other owned and equipped artifact. That's a minus 85. It's another minus 20. Plus 10 to its acceptance. Oh, I don't know why that is. Um, it's been to me, it's plus 3. If we could win him over, do you think we could buy back the ancestral weapon? I mean, I, I should be saving up, I will admit, for... Uh, I should really be saving up for the tournament. But this is also really cool. The Throne of Charlemagne. I'd like to buy that. William of Castile, can I can I buy that? You won't let me buy that. He, he is he out of diplo range. I wonder why I can't buy that one from him. Okay. I mean it's a throne, maybe that's why. I think it's a little difficult to ship over here. Oh! This guy's about to let the dagger of Jesus break. Look, why is he not repairing it, you idiot? Let me buy it. Look, look I'll buy it off of you. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's too far away to interact with it. Oh, you moron. That goes a that goes a valuable artifact. Crown of Thorns? Oh, man, there's so much we could do with this. If only I had some money. I, I've got to try and buy the sword back. What else would a... What else would a chivalrous Carling do than want to try and get back the family sword? So let's do it. Uh, Emperor of France here. You're going, on my, you're going on my list. What I'm doing right now, actually, I was just learning the Pope's language so that we could try and speak to the Pope a little bit better. Maybe we forget that and we change plan somewhat. Sway him. 62% chance... <laughs> oh, this is a weird quest, isn't it? Um, that's fine. I'm all right with that. Let's see what we can do with it. I'll get him. I'll get him. Oh, would you look at that? Aaron Zada comes of age. The first daughter there is a uh, charismatic negotiator, but clearly was much more suited to... Uh, clearly was much more suited to stewardship in hindsight, but never mind. Alliance power. Let's have a look. Uh, nobody. Why? Did I accidentally click arrange marriage rather than find spouse? Ah, that's better. Alliance power. We can marry her to Prince Orestus of the Byzantine Empire. That would be a pretty good alliance. I could take it. Although we could get a potential alliance with the Empire of France here too. Oh man. Um. Oh, obviously, like obviously, you gotta go try and get the alliance with Byzantium. She's got those inheritable traits. That's why he's. That's why he's up for it. Boom. Done. Easy. Easy alliance. Thank you. Join me. Now, if I want to do something weird, we can uh, we can go ahead and do that. Maybe when we go to war to grab Mallorca, that might be a good idea. Hmm. Oh, look. Now it's gone to minus 62. It's gone to minus 62. I wonder if that's now because I actually... It sets it to zero if you can't afford it. But now I can afford it. I will. I will buy this. I, I will get this sword from you one way or another. We're bringing it back. So it's equipped. It's better than other equipable artifacts. It's unique. It's quite expensive. It is indeed. It's opinion of me is plus three. Even if we, like, max out the opinion, that still won't be enough, will it? We would have to be able to use a hook. We could get a hook on this guy. We could get a hook on this guy. I, I, let me see what we can do. Um... Bringing uh, the, the clanging of mail and the clashing of swords rings in my ears. My knights practice their arms. I study them intently, trying to ascertain each one's particular strengths and weaknesses. Well, I might gain a martial lifestyle perk. Ooh, I certainly hope you do, because that would speed us up a little bit. So we can either take aggressive attacker, or 
you gain one martial lifestyle perk unlock. I mean, aggressive attacker isn't necessarily that bad. Holy Warrior and Reaver. I, I wish we could. I wish we could raid. Can we raid? I, I've not tried it, to be fair. Maybe we've been able to raid, raid all this time because we're a Reaver. What would be the point of having a Reaver if you can't raid? Let's just try it. <laughs> yeah, let's go for the martial life stopper. There you go. The storm of hooves around me. The shout of mountain warriors. They're unyielding momentum. Riding at their head feels as if I'm the head of a force of nature. Boom. Can we raid? Surely we can't raid. No, we can't raid. Why would you get my hopes up like that? All right. That was just, a, that was, that was the drill. Okay. Let's have a look then. Promising prospects. Because as soon as we get loyalty and respect, we can get a stewardship bonus that way, right? Because she gets 25% bonus to what she's got currently. So it's like three, depending on rounding, extra stewardship to that. So that's, you know, not insignificant at all. And the stables in Malta are finished. My recording just crashed. Very frustrating. Hello, how are you looking? Uh, let's sort those hamlets out then, my friend. Four blacksmiths. And I think we're done then, right? That's like the final reduction building. It absolutely is. Would you look at that? Fantastic. Right, let's get you... Uh, yeah, just keep going with religious relations. That's totally fine. Uh, what about cultural conversion? How are we doing on that front? Are we still... Right, promote culture. Let's get... We, we'll finish off in... Yeah, we'll finish off in Corsica first. Then we'll move down to Malta and get that one tidied up too. I, I wonder if it'll give us that extra building slot. Because we're flipping culture. I'm not sure. So we could build something else that we could put back a tax building. But this is great. And then we'll have to see what kind of... I, I imagine we'll have to upgrade the castle and then upgrade all the subholdings. I don't think that actually affects the cost reduction, though. So maybe that's it. Maybe we're just, like, done with it now, huh? Shall we train a warhorse? Of course we will train a warhorse. Why would I not? The horse pins her ears back as I approach. Her disregard for me crystal clear. The first meeting is more important to earn her trust and respect, and I need to decide how to go about it. We can say a steady hand is required to tame the beast. That works with high prowess and a bold personality. We are bold, and we have a high prowess. If I move gentle and slowly, that's a diplomacy and benevolent personality, or bring, bring forth the apples and bribe the horse. No. A steady hand. Trust yourself. Oh, and we've done it. You gain Warhorse. Extra prowess, 0 0.25 prestige per month, and another martial lifestyle unlock. My god, we are flying through this tree. There it is, loyalty and respect. How does it work then? Does it just straight up add that, or...? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Hello! Admiring the man that now follows my every command, I muse upon what to call her. Shall we go for a name inspired by history? And shall we call it... Tensenda as King Charlemagne's horse. I think that's very appropriate. I think that's very, very appropriate. We've got the horse. Now we just need the sword to go with it. And we've got another martial perk, by the way, because we are an unstoppable beast of a man. So gallant... What was that? that was just like prowess, right? Martial, prowess, prestige. Oh, it's very good. Okay. Yeah. Peacemaker. Peace acceptance plus 10. Might not have to worry about that temporarily. We'll probably go do some big wars soon, but I'm still in the tournament mindset. It really has won me over. Hey, how about that sword? Can I buy that sword now? Mine is 59. We're getting there. I, I think without a hook, it's going to be practically impossible. <sighs> we could find some secrets. Now, here's what I'm thinking, right? He's honest. But he is also impatient. And if the Emperor is doing dishonest things, why not use that to our benefit, huh? I think we can do something with it. Sorry, uh, did I construct in bloomeries? Did I mean to build bloomeries? Yes, good, that's right. The faithful prepare for war. Oh my god, this is exactly what we need. Because my guy is a holy warrior. And of course, you know, like a warrior. Of course, we're going for Castile. We save the kingdom of Castile. War chest received 1500. Yep, fine. Done, of course. My warriors will help fight. Why Castile? Oh, is it like a chunk of Castile that's flipped over? I'm not sure. Kingdoms? Yeah, see that th those few counties in Castile there are under Al-Andalus. So the Pope wants to take that back. Fair enough. Actually, we might be in um we we might be in a pretty good stead to actually win this time. Although all of these uh, what are you? You are uh, you're the same religion. You're the same religion. To be fair, the Catholic part of Spain is is pretty tanked up. Aragon is under um, Mawaladism as well. Okay, interesting. Well, we'll see how it goes then. We'll see how it goes. Bear in mind last time they, um, totally fucked it up. <laughs> like it wasn't even in the, in the neighborhood. Uh, let's ask the Pope for some money. 
Thank you. No, these will bring me victory. Or maybe they'll buy me a very fancy sword. You are. I could. I wish I could just like increase the offer. But look, I, I'll give you fifteen hundred gold for it. I'll pay you an extra fifty percent on top of the asking price, my friend. Just give me the sword. We'll get it one day. We'll get it one day. What on earth is going on here? Last time I saw the Pope, he was surreptitiously getting rid of my yellow hat because yellow is an unlucky color for people of my birth. The time before, I had to accompany him on a ridiculously long detour to avoid a sleeping black cat. It's unlucky, he said. I don't even want to remember the time he thought he had lost his lucky amulet. However, as I catch him throwing away half of my precious salt because it had been spilled, I feel my patience wear thin. But what if it's all true? I become friends with the Pope, but we become superstitious. Whoa. We lose more stress, but we gain more stress. We gain, we, we lose 75 prestige. We gain 60 stress because we're arrogant and impatient. Oh. What do we say? Nonsense. Are we actually friends with the Pope? See, I thought we were friends with the Pope. We're not. We like the Pope, but the Pope doesn't really like us. Um. No, I don't think he would believe the Pope. I don't think we would call him a blasphemer. I just don't think we would care. Just arrogant. We just wouldn't care. No, it's rubbish. It's nonsense. You just disregard his feelings entirely. Oh, we can spend money on the horse. Yes, make the horse stronger. Oh, and it uh, looks like Archon Gregorio may be paying for my horse lessons. Thank you. 75 prestige for him. We gain court grandeur, prestige, gold, and renown. Thank you. Oh, nice. Look at that. It was money well spent. The horse is now... Very slightly stronger. Oh, 10% levy size. What a waste of my money. How long until this war's launching? We got five months. 83,000 versus 28,000. If we lose this time, I don't think there's any excuse. I think I think it's an unwinnable war. Oh, yeah, look at that. So, so increasing the uh, blacksmiths actually has no impact at all on reducing the cost for the grand tournaments. The only thing it does is uh, increase the quality of inspiration. So there's actually not much point going for that one, to be honest with you. I'm trying to click on that faster than the UI can pop up and cover it up, but clearly it doesn't work. Um, <laughs> so I guess in that case, it's probably true for all of them. Minus 50% minus. Yeah, it's, it's the same. Okay, cool. Well, that's good then. That's fine. So we can just like leave Malta as it is then. We can just forget about it now. Oh, good. It's all outfitted. It's all ready to go. We've got the maximum cost reduction we could need. I suppose the only difference is if, if, if there was like a capital duchy. Ah. Oh, you learned King Julian's murder secret. King Julian. The poet of Burgundy. Damn. Does he have an artifact I could buy? Um, Prize Scepter. I'll buy that. I'll buy that. He wouldn't accept because I don't have a hook on him. What else he got? Robertine Ornamental Coffret. Pretty good. Healing Water. Man, I like having all this disposable money. Oh, he's also got a bloody blade. Whoa, his blade is slightly better than mine, though. Which is my price scepter. That's such a flex, isn't it? Use these hooks instead to get all of their treasures. That's so funny. Man, I wish there were republics in CK3. I really do. Having all that liquid cash would be so good. Uh, you get in the traitor. What a shame. Do no more than what is necessary. I think we're fine. Excellent work, Frunk. Thank you. <laughs> he, spelled, he spelled his name wrong on the birth certificate. Okay, it's very embarrassing. Thank you, Frank. We've got to be a fighting fit ready to go to this war soon. We've got eight days. It's less than a week. Oh, you've just got to lead the troops either way. It's what a strong knight would do. Deus Wult. Let's go. Let's hiss it. Raise the troops. We've got places to be. I want to be the first on the shores. I want to be the first on... No, 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 no. Merge those. I want to be the first on the shores. And I want to hit them hard and fast. Their capital is there. Take the capital instantly. We win. We win. Go, do it. Charge. Oh, our new martial lifestyle perk too. That was great timing. Gallant. Gallant. Take Gallant straight away. The Gallant King Biscotti heads to the infidel lands. Ready on behest of the Pope to siege it down. Here we go. I'm ready. I can feel it in my bones. Oh, that's a lot of troops there. Okay, hold on. Hold fast. Hold fire. Let them, let them move away. Get in there. Burn it down. Biscotti, kill. Kill. Join me. Oh, we've got friends coming in. This is the best day of my life. Go. Come on, you can do it. Oh, look at this. 40 commander advantage. The capital falls if we get like a son or whatever. That gives us immediately, boom, 50% war score. Unbelievable. Duke Julian's child heritage secret. How could he do such a thing? We can't really leverage any of these secrets, so hopefully we can... Uh, oh, the attrition's heavy. We could... 
get some artifacts, I suppose. They are just making doom stacks. But our allies are not. And if they don't, they're never going to be able to hope to kill that. Ooh. Yes, we can sway the good emperor. While the hosting lords and ladies from around near and far, some opportunities to portray Emperor Manassas of France here in a good light presented themselves. Shall we spend 75 prestige to sway him or... No, we're arrogant. We're better than him. Oh, we lost a trait ill. Amazing. It's good. It's good. You know, a little bit of warfare is good for the soul. It's nourishing. Hello. Um, you can become diligence. Happy to take on a little bit of stress to make a child more betterer. And, you know, we're impatient, so that does make a lot of sense. I don't need to roleplay this character. I can just play this character because I'm impatient. Okay, we didn't actually get anything from that, which is a bit frustrating. How's the war score looking, team? Um, oh, is this? This is the war score. Uh, terrible, really. Just awful. We don't get any occupied holding because we're trying to occupy Castile. That's why everybody launched on that one. But they're all going to get wiped out. <gasps> that wasn't the capital. This one's the capital. I attacked the wrong capital. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that's fine. Whatever. It's fine. We've taught them a lesson. We're just going to go and undermine them. We're doing the important work behind the scenes. Someone has to, after all. Now we'll take out the capital of Al-Andalus. Presuming this will last for another 10 more months. See, this is exactly what I'm saying. They're just marching around this enormous doom stack that the AI won't counter because they won't make doom stacks of their own. We're going to lose another crusade. So we've just got to be here for our own glory. We're going to lose another crusade, okay? We're just gonna we're just gonna do what we can. Maybe I could go up there and 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 spearhead the force. You know, when we've got a lot of troops around us, we we jump into uh, enemy forces and try and get something out of it. Maybe that would do something for us, but I doubt it. Um, yeah, go on, be free. You're not contributing any wars, course. You might as well just go. To be honest, I think this war's probably going to be over soon anyway. Oh God, we could head up there and try and do a bit of sieging, but this is fine. Honestly, like taking their capital out, I'm I'm happy to see it. We've breached the walls. Amazing. You look tired, my lord, my jester Pantolian says. I know the cure for that. It's called Travels to Jerusalem. What do you say? Shall I start reading it? No. I'd prefer it if you read A Memory of King Morang. Absolutely. It's been a stressful few months for the guy. He's taken a lot of a lot of extra stress educating children. And now we've got to... Uh, oh, no. keep Stay there. See if we can uncover a secret. All we need is that one hook and we get a legendary sword. And boom. Their capital falls. Too little too late, I'm afraid. We might not even be able to get the capital before this is over. Um, Cecilie Carling. Yes. Educate this. We got it. We stole a boar hide. Amazing. We took that and then the war is over. Another crusade failed. But you know what? We did some good there. We sieged two kingdom capitals of our foes. Let's just sail home. Yeah, there you go. St. George has abandoned us. What a fucking shocker. What a waste of our damn time. <laughs> oh, the culture in Malta has changed to Lombard. Well, that's not right. That's not right at all. Why did it change to Lombard? Um, I suppose it's a bit more adjacent though, huh? How odd. I mean, we could convert that over, I suppose. Hello. Um, the King of Burgundy wants to marry the daughter of King Julian to Everard Carling, my knight. Some distant descendant. Creme brulee. My sister. So it's my it's my great great nephew, I think. The marriage will not result in alliance. Yeah, whatever. Happy marriage. Happy <laughs> marriage. Great. That was a good war. I'm really glad that we got a time to shine as the holy warrior that we are by the AI being frigging unbearably useless again. Great work. How close are we to this tournament? Let's, let's have a look at the court before we before we carry on. Each day, it seems my court is abuzz with talk of the next banquet, and many have grown rather more portly as of late. The culinary activity is fueled by Queen Birgitta, Bertha, and Otten's constant vine demand for the most memorable meal from my overworked cooks. Today, it is my wife, Birgitta, who drools. My liege, tonight I'm having the kitchens prepare the richest sauce known to men, served with a ten-bird roast. Oh, dear. Archbishop Torf sighs disapprovingly. These fleeting pleasures are nothing compared to God's grace. I can't wait, or only the best for my court, or this extravagance has gone too far, or will you never be satisfied? Nah. Nah, we're arrogant. We'd be like, absolutely. Absolutely we want the best for this realm, huh? Let's hang up that boar hide. At least we got something for this, huh? There you go, look at that. <laughs> that was worth the investment. <laughs> Fucking shit. <laughs> <sighs> really good. Really, really good. Um, Fefe, Fe Felipe Palafox, you can go. Hussein Madid gives me 100 gold. 
Thank you. I mean, look, it's all... It's all money in the bag. Oh, and now the horse is ill. It's all money in the bag for eventually another tournament. Speaking of which, how close are we to another tournament? Uh, nine months. Holy crap. Holy crap. It's almost time again. In, in those seven years, was I able to save up enough money to... To host the largest of tournaments? No. Quite frankly, no. I almost certainly have not. It was like 2,000, right? Can we, can we have a look? Even if we can't plan it. No, not yet, I'm afraid. Shit. It's just so... <laughs> it's so, so expensive. It's so unfathomably expensive. We've got one more county in Corsica to convert. How are we doing for control? Nowhere. We don't need to control anywhere. Oh, well, that's amazing then. Um, raised army maintenance is lowered. Night effectiveness. There you go. Go ahead and increase that one. Wow. And then, of course, we can flip back over to collecting taxes when that's all done. So that will earn a bit more cash. The realm's going fine. I haven't got anything to do. I guess I'll just go to... I mean, what do you think? We could... We do not have a cast spell. Let's go to war on you. I could start fabricating claims on Mallorca then. I have to get the three different claims. Yikes. Okay, but that does give us a whole other duchy. And then what did we need? We needed like, um... Cyprus? Crete? What was it? Was it somewhere in Greece? Maybe not. Uh, secure the Mediterranean. We need Mallorca and... C oh, Sicily. Ooh, those are going to be some big wars if you want to go for Sicily. King Politu. Okay, we could do something with that eventually. I guess this will be our goal then. We, can't, we just simply cannot rely on holy wars to be any good... A any good entertainment for this guy. It's just not going to happen because the air is shit. <laughs> what do you think he prefers? Intrigue, a good book, or the feats of war. Oh, let's go with the feats of war. Why not? Even though he might not like it. That's why he loses his progress. Whatever. Even though he might not like it, we do. Can we befriend him now? Sadly not. Sadly not. We can't seduce him. Can we seduce him? Sadly not. Damn it. Okay. Let's try it once more. Can we buy it? No. We, we are just going to have to... Uh, we really are just going to have to blast him with a... Uh, With a hook somehow, aren't we? That's the only way we're going to be able to do it. I'm open to suggestions on that front then, team. I, I mean, sort of scheming. Maybe that's something the next character could do. Because Pano Chocolat is being educated in intrigue. Even though he hasn't got any natural brain. We could do so we could do something with this. Maybe, maybe that's what you could do. You could be the one building up the royal court. That'd be, that'd be a nice excuse to actually spend some of this cash. Because we're going to have all this money still. But the next kid's not going to be interested in grand tournaments. And speaking of the next generation, Pana Shokala is embroiled in a shocking series of events. Archon Gregorio spilled his drink all over Pana Shokala's food. Now, even though our character is impatient, we have the option to give him impatient, I want to do whatever will make him into the best entry character. I don't want to kneecap the next generation to try and play this character a bit more... A bit more accurately, we could go for they will learn a more subtle revenge is sweeter. Which gives him some extra intrigue, right? Allows fabricate hook scheme against your rivals. That could be a good way to get the sword. I feel like I've got to do it. I, 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 I'm more interested in chasing interesting characters than being like dedicated to the, to the role playing aspect in that regard. I think we take the... I think we take the stress to be able to do that. I think that's great. We can host our grand tournament again. Should we start planning it? Let's give it a go. We want to go to Mulsa. Stables, militia camp, barracks, blacksmiths, and suitable terrain. That is music to my ears. Let's have archery this time. Or, or should, is it even worth it? Because we didn't have archery before. Can I cancel? Oh, cancel that one. Forget about the archery. I think we focus on increasing the skills that we've already started picking up, right? So how about those? I think that's good. Continue. And how much will this cost in total then? Can we... Oh my god. 2,228 and we can go all in. Famed or illustrious rarity artifacts. We could definitely go for a better champion this time. So we'll swap our personal champion out for someone better than Pantolian. Oh. We're actually so close to being able to afford it. I didn't think we'd be able to do it, but we're almost there. All those cost reductions. 15, 15, 30, 15, 22. Ooh. 
<laughs> oh, this is good. Obviously, we'll have to pay for travel costs this time, though. Right? We're going to have to pay for travel costs. So we want experienced captains so that we can get to Malta safely. And that's all we need because we're just traveling, obviously, just across one sea tile to another. One coastal province to another. 2,251. So that is exactly what we're going to do for the rain remainder of the day. We're going to save that money up. And tomorrow, we are going to go in with the grandest of tournaments. Even grander still. Let's do it. Oh, God. If we want to do diligent training with the horse... It's going to stress us out critically, but this is the first time we've had to really worry about this. Do you want to convert to what uh, Paulicianism, or do we want to become a sodomite and go to the brothel? Uh, sure. I don't see why not. Let's go for it. Why not? Who could have seen a thing like that happening? Huh? What a shocker. You gained the trait lover's box. I just wanted him to be able to have a little bit of love at the end of his life. Poor guy. Do I say at the end of his life? He's 40. I mean, it's been like, it's been a long life so far. Yeah, keep keep finding those schemes. All we need is one hook, my friend. How much are we saving up again? <laughs> Sorry, I had to go look after a dog. Oh, but look at this. Living off the land gives more raid speed. How dare you? <laughs> I'm right here. How dare you? Sappers, then strategist. Strategist gives what, like plus three marshals, something like that. Three marshal, one diplomacy, uh, fate to casualties, blah, blah, blah. Stuff that's probably not going to be hyper relevant, to be honest. But will be pretty high in terms of raw stats. What I would like to do, actually, before the tournament is buy a weapon. Because we still haven't got a good weapon. The only weapon we've got reduces our... Does that say... Oh, my God. What happened? Creme Caramel died. Died in her sleep. Oh. I, I mean, there was a bunch of uh, imprisonments there. I thought that was related to that, but no. Oh, how terribly sad. You know what? I might forget about Sway and the French King, because clearly he's not going to part with his... Clearly, he's not going to part with his beautiful sword. So, you know what? Forget him. Forget him. I'm just going to unpin him. We're not going to worry about it. We'll try and win over the Pope instead, because they're already apparently pretty close. Even though I don't remember that. But, hey. Now we'll wait. Oh. Alliance formed with Emperor Carl II. Oh, good. Because he's now the Holy Roman Emperor. Oh, good. That was unexpected. <laughs> when did that happen? Emperor Sicily. Oh, that's good. That's great news. Ooh, Panda Sapper is done. Intricate Web Weaver. Not bad, not bad. Actually, in the new uh, Crusader Kings diary, they revealed tier 5 education traits that you get from going to university, which is quite fun. Another way just to build up your character a little bit further. I do like, you know, really focusing down and getting all of those, even though, you know, I'm not doing it this time around. There is potential for a series, I think, when that next DLC drops where we just go hard and focus on optimizing a character for once. Just just like, even if it's just for a generation, picking all of the best, objectively correct things to do, even if it goes against the character and stresses them out. I don't think I've ever really done it with, with Crusader Kings 3 before. Oh, dear. My daughter, Aaron Zada, has given birth to a bastard child. Gavini, may you grow strong and wise. You you won't get one of the many names. I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen. I'll be honest. I'm really hoping. Oh, I'm going to pardon her. There. Okay. Live your life. I'm really hoping that the Pope will pop up and offer me some money. That would be nice. Prince Harriman, my nephew of the Holy Roman Empire. Really? It's my sister's. Oh, right. Of course, my sister's son. Yeah, makes sense. Um, Yeah. Keep it in the family? Uh, very, they are cousins. This seems a bit weird. Um, let's, let's just go for a, an alliance with, with... Oh, God, they're also related. Uh, why are they? Why are they related? I don't know. But evidently, they are somehow. Prince Gwilym. I have no idea where they're related, but they are somewhere. Okay, you know what? You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Maybe it's the other way around. Maybe his mother was related to whatever. Um, fine. Done. Yes, happily. Happily. Take your marriage. All good. Oh, Queen Bagita. She gave him the trait architect and she got pregnant at the same time. Oh my god, she's incredible. Wait, what's your... Still only 11 stewardship though. You're telling me architect doesn't give... Oh, it's plus 2 stewardship. Does she have a negative? Oh, because she became a drunkard as well. Oh, very good. Well, these things happen, don't they? <laughs> so we can afford our grand tournament. It's 2251, including the travel costs. But I want to maybe buy a sword. And I think, what did we say? Show alert for legendary artisans. 
There are. Oh my god. And right on cue, look. He wants to forge a spear. She wants to forge a sword. Do you now? Can I get you to court? Is there any way I can get you to court? Uh, I could arrange a marriage between her and my knight. Will that work? She will not accept. Why? Why? Different from my faith. Oh god. Matrilineal? No, nothing. Um, okay. What about you then? Orthodox Greek. Ah. Uh, fight to court. Will not accept. Can't use a hook. Damn it. Uh, what if we, what if we arrange marriage for you to my daughter? He still won't accept. What a weird man. Okay. Um, well, let's look for wondrous artisans instead of just the uh, legendary ones instead. And then we've only got one for a regalia. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, that's so annoying. Um, is there any way I could invite you whatsoever? It's minus 50. Lodging standards give 50. Base reluctance, minus 50. If I got her a high opinion of me, would that work? What if I send her a gift? It could be 50 gold that I'm throwing away here. Fight to court, minus 35. Oh, we we'll swear. We might be able to win her over. You know what? I'm going to hold off until we've got a weapon before we have this next tournament. And my reasoning for that... Thank you, Pope. My reasoning for that is... If we're spending all this money to get the best tournament possible and the rewards can be like the illustrious artifacts, you know, the highest quality, we've got to guarantee that we're going to win for a, for a good return on investment. It's an opportunity that we've been saving up for decades at this point, right? We've cashed out our own artifacts. I've got to make it happen. I've got to make this happen. So you know what? I think we might just be able to win her, win her over eventually. What, oh, is there any way we can get her to court? She just will not go for it. Um, I just don't know what I can do. At most, I could, uh, we, we could go for a lifestyle. Again, I, I just don't think it suits the character. I don't want to break the character here to, like, go into intrigue and try and kidnap people. I don't want to do that. And this is where I think the impatient, arrogant Biscotti makes for a bad guardian. He wants the best. He wants to cut as many corners as possible and get the best for this kid as much as possible. What in the world has happened is my son, Panachocola, he is all bruised and beaten. He refused the name who did it to him. Was an older child or did he pass through a noble to the point of fury? Dear boy, you don't have to talk to anyone if you don't want to. Or, there are enemies everywhere. You must learn that he gains paranoid, which gives him another three intrigue. Or, you should have run away, child. No. There are enemies everywhere. There are. That's, that. he's honest. And I think this is absolutely fine. You don't have to talk to anyone if you don't want to. It's a damn lie. Because he's going to be king one day. So there are enemies everywhere. We're going to be honest, uh, brutally honest, to the point that it maybe drives this poor child a little bit insane. A dishonorable antagonist. That is so different to any other character we've played in this playthrough. I'm very excited to get my hands on Pano Chocolat. Another daughter. Bibiana. <laughs> These freaking daughters, non-stop. Sardinian dessert. Okay, here we go. I'm going to run out of stuff on this website if I keep going. Do we have Papasinos? I don't think we have Papasinos. Let me just double check the other children before I before I go for it. Aranzada, Pandasapa, Til... How, why am I suffering with that one so much? Tilacus. Tilicus? Tilicus. Sure. Um, Pastisus. Pano Chocolat, and then Papasini. Papasinos. Oh, oh, it's probably just plural. Um, Delacus Sedas. Cedus. Ooh, that sounds delicious. It sounds, it sounds like a nice dessert. This is apparently, oh lord, uh, there you go. Uh, crunchy, flaky puff pastry. Very nice, served warm with honey or sugar on top. Wow, there you go. A sweet name for a sweet girl. Very good, I'm happy with that. Save up, save up this money. Please, get me this lady to my court. Fine, disrupt schemes, whatever. How's she looking? Oh, it's gonna take ages, isn't it? <laughs> what if we give her an artifact? You want my armor? You want my armor? You want, you want to sort like crap that I'm not using? I'll give her a favor of a lady, because that's gonna break. So you can have that one. Um, how about now? Minus 35, you shit. Well, she hasn't accepted yet. Maybe she hasn't. Ooh, today a few foreign travelers are stopping by my court. Tell me about their journeys. One of the stories is unusual from a land far, far away. Didn't catch his name, but they say the strange man styles himself as the liar. However, despite his eccentric behavior, he's providing them with a lot of wise insights into the matters of finance. Heard rumors about the liar. Oh, I have no idea what the hell that is, but monthly stewardship lifestyle experience up by 10%. We are going to swap over to stewardship very, very soon because we've only got strategists left. 10 months, we're going to swap over, so we're getting a little boost in that one. Please, madam. Minus 35. 
Even if I get her up to maximum, it's not going to be enough, is it? It's not going to be enough. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not going to give you that. I'm not going to give you that either. Oh, God. What about the other person? Maybe we can start working on them. You want to forge a spear. Um, if I send you a gift. 50 gold. How, how likely are you? Minus 150. Oh, God. Because his liege likes him more. He's got, he's got a load of ranks in his liege's court. I think we might have to just cut our losses and we might have to just hire... Uh, we might just have to commission an artifact. We have no antiquarian, but I can I can sort that out. I think we just go for it. Aptitude poor. Oh my god. What's it based on? Stewardship? What is that based on? Based on aptitude. Yeah, but what is the aptitude? Uh, does it say somewhere? And I'm losing my mind. I don't think it does. Uh, what do they need? Doesn't say, like, what is the primary stat of that or anything like that. Okay, um, well, everybody's crap at it. I, I suppose I could just give her a chance. <laughs> Please, I just want a weapon that isn't actively detracting from me. Done. Okay, hello. How are you doing? You're an evil lackey. Fine. You're good. Um, a dagger, a sword, uh, a hammer, a mace, or... A spear. I trust your judgment. Something that can slash and pierce. A sword would be great. To be honest, I think that's the most traditional knightly weapon I can think of. So let's go for it then. Oh god, why do I get the feeling this is a poor idea and we're gonna get horribly ripped off. We'll keep going with the other person in, in some uh, vain hope that maybe eventually she decides to come to this court. Queen Bagisa is pregnant again. She's an unstoppable baby machine. Thank you. <laughs> not one of them. Ooh, a claim on all of Mallorca. Hello. And not one of those children has genius. We really have watered down the gene pool with this generation, but somewhat of a necessary evil. How about now? Are you going to join me now? Please save me from this other person. Minus 25. I, I don't know what to do. You're already scheming against her. What if I learn her language? Do you think that would work? You want to you wanna get married now? Still will not accept. <laughs> I just... I'm trying everything. Ooh, an inspiration. Hello. What do you want? Prince Casper of the Holy Roman Empire has a metalsmith. He's considered a master. Oh. We don't have regalia. I 78 gold. Done. Easy. I can afford that. We can afford that very handily. We got another person. What do you want to craft? You want to make a box. He's very competent. Nah, you're right. <laughs> that, one's, that one's not relevant. Oh, dear. My wife. Has also got lover's pox. No, no, we'll just apologize to her. Just apologize to her. It's, it's your fault. Okay. I bump into a very grave looking Monica, my weaponsmith, hoping that she doesn't bring me ill news. Oh, there you are, my liege. I've hit a wall. Nothing major. My ideas have gone to ground as the pressure mounts. She laughs nervously. I just need some inspiration. Do you have any prior examples I could examine? We're arrogant. Oh, God. We're arrogant, but we're impatient. I know what you need. Is he going to have sexual intercourse with her? That doesn't make any sense. What fun we shall have. Oh, are they just going to have like a... Oh, he's going to take her to the brothel. Yes. Fine. Let's do it. I think that's acceptable. He's arrogant, but I, I think he's also impatient. So it's going to be stressful either way, right? And there's our final martial lifestyle perk. Boom. Let's go for a little bit of wealth focus. 24 gold per month. My God. <laughs> yes. Yes. Come on. Hand over the sword and then this tournament will be glorious. Talakas is done. Maida's touched. Oh, Talakas 27 stewardship. Okay. We will give 50 gold to Casper to improve the regalia. This is a this is a nice change of pace. It's been a lot. It's been long overdue since we've got some artifacts. Oh, another daughter. Raymond. Intelligent and pretty. Um... Aranzada, we've already got one of those. Uh, Sosperos. That sounds delicious. What is Sosperos? It's made of sugar, almonds, and honey. Finished off with a healthy coating of icing. Oh, they all sound like absolute tooth rotters. May you grow strong and wise, my daughter. So, we can marry Talakas off now. Uh, honestly, I might just keep her in court because she's really good. <laughs> she's like insanely good. Um, oh, shit. We haven't got council equality, so we can't even put her on the council, which is a shame because she's really, really good. Um, that's disappointing. 
We could change that, but I'm not really so bothered. We could go up to high ground authority. Why not? Um, yeah, that's a bit disappointing, but that's all right. Okay, you know what? Let's marry her off then. How are we looking? We've got alliance with the Holy Roman Empire and Francia. So let's go alliance power. That one goes for Francia. We've already got one, of course. Holy Roman Empire, we've already got the Kingdom of Poland. Prince Janko. There you go. Easy. Off you go, my daughter. Thank you. Whoa. I produce a sort of very fine craftsmanship. Prowess plus four. Enemy failure to catch these plus seven percent. It's better. It's absolutely better. Thank you. You know what? I was not expecting much from that, but I was pleasantly surprised. It's not as... Uh, this one's masterwork. This one's famed. This one does so much more. It's plus five prowess. This one? Okay. Whatever. Good enough then. Tomorrow, my friends. Finally, we shall kickstart this bloody tournament. I know that took a long time there at the end. We've got more than enough money in the bank now. We've got a sword. We're ready. Let's do it. I want some illustrious artifacts tomorrow. I've got a taste for it now. Come back then. Wow, this went on for a while. 